Dreaming Jaguars. Um, we are privileged to um, be in the company of John and Caroline from DMT Times. Um, and we're going to shoot the breeze with them this morning and have a conversation a little bit about what they do. Um, yeah, so here we go. Thanks for having us. We're really happy to be here with you today. That's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you, Dreaming Jaguars, for allowing DMT Times to come on board and shoot a video. We're really happy to be here. Thank you. So our first question to you guys then is, is what is DMT Times? What are you trying to achieve? Um, uh, tell us a little bit about how it came about and what's going on. Well, John and I met through a mutual friend um, after John had the idea to create an all-encompassing uh, media outlet really that focuses on um, DMT and plant medicine and ayahuasca um, because he understood the power of DMT, you know, on collective consciousness, personal consciousness. So um, he put the word out there to try and find somebody who he could collaborate with on the project. Um, and he was uh, given my contact details. So we basically uh, met up and realised we had uh, a very, very similar vision with regards to uh, where this project should go. And uh, I've got a long history with working with plant medicines anyway, so I was kind of the perfect person for his, for his vision. And um, from there we decided to create a website that would uh, be a, a full resource for people that wanted to research and understand <coughs> their own experiences as well as um, you know, what it meant to meet with entities in the DMT realm, etc. That's one of the major focuses. Um, to try and understand the nature of the DMT realm and, and how that um, how that works with this realm, really. Um, yeah. you know, what... we, we wanted to compile all, all people's experiences with ayahuasca and DMT yeah. and then find out really what's going on with this meeting of the entities whilst under the influence of DMT and compile that information and then see what the end results are yeah uh, yeah this is this is something we're very much interested in doing yeah. but the site grew organically so um, we put together a lot of articles um, not just on DMT and plant medicines but also on consciousness because obviously the two are very closely related we've got a library of videos um, world news on the subject so people can come to find whatever information it is they require on the subject in one place rather than having to search through the internet, through forums. Um, there's not many sites out there that are doing everything in one place. So yeah. that was the point. And so and far so good. Yeah, and to, to collaborate with people like yourselves, this uh -huh. is very, very uh, interesting for us, you know, and uh, really spurs us on that we've, we've got people, like-minded people like yourselves. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bringing it to the fore, bringing it to the the global consciousness. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting times. Yeah. There's a lot of grassroots movements going on, but what we've noticed is, and it's the same across many areas of life, um, there's small groups doing things that are obviously fantastic, but not enough of them are getting together to create a massive movement, and we feel that at this point in life, consciousness needs to, to move quicker for things to change in the world because we've seen a lot of darkness out there as well as a lot of positive things and a lot of light but we know through first-hand experience that these medicines and substances are one of the major keys to growing on a personal level very very quickly yeah. and realizing what's important awakening compassion etc so uh, we just felt that the time is now to get moving with that to spread the news as much as possible and to work with as many people as we can to make that happen. Yeah, and we've, we've been driven on in a really 
big positive boost with the support of Graham Hancock, the, the, the great author, who's, who's supporting us publicly through all his media outlets. This is just a really amazing response from a, a, an amazing individual, you know, who's, who's switched on to all the DMT and the ayahuasca. Yeah. So what what sort of got you to this place then, John? If you want to start, you know, how did you find yeah. this molecule, and and what was sort of the the catalyst for you thinking I need to make this something more in my life? Yeah, I was just at uh, this this time in my life where uh, things were really working out, and uh, I, I I just came across the Spirit Molecule documentary, and. Uh, and just started researching it more and more and then eventually you, you, you connect with like-minded individuals yeah. uh, and eventually I, I came about getting hold of some DMT and then uh, put it in the pipe and the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, was that's, there a moment in that experience that, or was it just just because it was so interesting, you thought I've got to pursue this, or did you have some sort of epiphany? Some yeah, sort of... yeah. I mean, it, it, it opened it opened me up to to so many things. Uh, you know, empathy, the love, the infinite feeling of love. Um, it, it it just spurred me on to be thinking there is more out there. There's, uh -huh. there's, there's something else yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to understand. Yeah, and and totally get that. Yeah, that. That was really it, yeah. It's kind of like a drug in itself, the, the, what, the thirst to find out more yeah. about what's just happened and what potentially that is. You know, you just constantly, then you just, it opens the floodgates and you just, all you do is consume information. It, it, yeah, about the what messages that, is. that came through from my, my, my first experience really brought me to DMT Times, the, con, the whole concept of DMT yeah, Times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally my first my first experience, oh yeah. It's amazing, you never know where these things are taking you at yeah. all. Yeah. It just unfolds yeah. organically, doesn't it? And yeah. then you realise what the power of these substances actually is. There's, there's no your other comprehension in the beginning, for sure. Yeah, there's no yeah. other substance, you know, I, I, I'll speak for myself that, uh, you know, I've, I've tried different substances and um, there's, there's no other substance like DMT. No. Absolutely no, not. It's kind of not yeah. a drug experience. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't it's... like to, the terminology drug yeah. when, when associated with DMT because I don't I think that's a disservice. Yeah, for sure. 100%, 100%. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's plant medicine, yeah. bottom line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it, 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 it can't be, it can't be a, a described as a drug. No, 100%. No, no. It's, it, like you say, it t totally, um, you know, puts it in a category that is just not relevant in any way, shape or form. It's a life experience. It, it, without else. a doubt, yeah. It is. It's an experience, yeah. Caroline, so how about you then? How, about, how did you come to this um, junction and, and sort of decide this was what you were going to pursue? Well, it was about 10 years ago, almost now. Um, a friend of mine said that a shaman was coming to the UK um, and he was going to hold an ayahuasca ceremony. I didn't really know anything about it at the time. I did a little bit of research. I thought that sounds interesting. I was already into uh, mushrooms at the time. So I thought, okay, I'll give that a try. But I didn't know what I was letting myself in for at all. But the first experience that I had there, um, although it was relatively mild compared to pretty much every experience I've had since, um, it awakened something in me that I didn't even really know was there. Um, it's like you're, you're switched off until you're switched on. And I didn't realise that that was about to happen to me. So the magic didn't really even happen in the ceremony itself. I kind of disappeared as far as I was aware. Well, I was not aware. That's the thing. I just, just went and uh, I didn't have much recollection of it. But a couple of weeks later, um, I was in my house and I put the music on from the ceremony and it was like everything just came flooding back and I had a major purge then, just crying and crying and crying and it was uh, from the sense of the weight of the world, I realised I was feeling the pain of the earth and everything that has happened to the earth at the hands of humanity, that's how I felt and it had awakened this huge compassion within me 
uh, for nature and for humanity and for myself. And I didn't understand the magnitude of what that medicine had done for me at the time, but it was then that I really understood that it was a medicine. Um, so it changed who I was and how I thought my perspective of the world. Um, so from there onwards, I decided I was gonna go on a little journey with that. And I went from there to, to attending retreats where I had some, some incredibly intense experiences, but also highly educational. On a personal level, highly educational experiences. Um, and I started unraveling myself bit by bit. So the more I drank it, the more I understood the power of it, the more I understood my own strength, um, because it's not an easy experience a lot of the time, as, as most people probably know, I've had it. Um, and eventually I found myself in Peru, living in Peru, um, living on a retreat centre, working with the medicines very closely. And it went from there really, from that point onwards I understood that I needed to bring that to as many people as I could, which some may think is controversial, but the way I see it at this point in life, we need all the help we can get to grow as people. It feels like a critical point. And I understood by this time that this medicine was one of the keys to humanity's survival, the way I see it. So I started running retreats and haven't really looked back from there. It's been a really long journey, the medicines. Uh, DMT ran parallel to that as well. Um, I think the first time I came across DMT was around 2012 as a standalone substance. It was Changa, in fact, and I had some very, very interesting experiences on the Changa. Um, I would say that both substances have opened my awareness beyond anything I thought possible. And uh, now, knowing the amount of people that I do that do the same sort of thing, like-minded people, I can see that this is a, uh, it's pretty standard, you know, it's helping us all to grow. So I think it needs to carry on, it needs to spread far and wide, and that's what we're here for. That's what DMT Times is about. Right then, so uh, we've heard a little bit about who you guys are, what your experiences have been with the substance. I think uh, what we really want to hear about is what you what you, what you've got coming up and who you've been talking to. Okay. So um, we've been talking about doing some events because we feel like it's one of the best ways to get people involved, interactive, not just lectures and talks, although that will be part of it, but maybe workshops and things so people can find a way to integrate their experiences and learn about it first-hand from people who are very experienced. We're bringing other people. It's not just ourselves that will be talking and uh, supplying information. It's going to be people well-versed in the subject. Um, so that it builds a little bit of a community. We're going to be doing that in the northwest and uh, aiming at doing that in London as well. So that's coming up shortly in the pipeline. We're quite excited about that. Yeah, and uh, also the, the, we've got an interview coming up with uh, the great Graham Hancock shortly in the new year which we're really pumped up about and uh, looking forward to you guys coming and giving us a bit of support on that too you know yeah Good. yeah yeah so it's going to be really interesting to collaborate with you guys like we said earlier it's really important that the movements and the people behind the movements get together to do as much as possible together and that's something we're really looking forward to since we've met you sure yeah yeah i like that idea there's uh, the building of a community yeah, where we're all putting our our skills or whatever it is into the group and bringing this to everybody else, and that's I suppose from our point of view when we started the Jaguars, that was what we were intending to do: is to open up everyone's understanding of the of the DMT and what it can do for humanity. Okay, so we would like to say a massive thank you to you guys from us um, for coming down from Liverpool for thank the weekend. Thank you, you know, too. Yeah. This yeah. is what this Thanks is all about. Yeah. Yeah, it is, you know, this collaborative effort. We're really looking forward to collaborating with you guys. You guys have got some great stuff coming up in the pipeline. So have we. We'll bring the whole thing together. Yeah. Um, and we can, you know, we can make some decent stuff. And, yeah, good, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I really look forward to doing more stuff with you guys. Yeah, it's yeah. been an amazing meeting. I'm really grateful yeah. for that. Awesome. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. See ya.